Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactor. In today's lesson, we will learn how we can write any text on the t-shirt or any garment that you are making. Now one thing is that there is no text option inside Marvel's Designer. There is no text option, there is no text feature. But you can use internal lines to write the text. So let's see how we can do that. Suppose the number that we want here is 418. So how we can do that? So first, let's see what options we have. We have the polygonal line option here, internal polygon and line. So I will choose this one. And first of all, I will make something which is as number four. Okay. And I have my shift key all the way rest, so it will create straight lines. And the smart guide over here is doing a really good job in keeping things uniform. Okay. So here I got number four. Kind of looks weird. Okay. So what we can do here is that. We can just delete this part here. And then these two points here. And I can move this shift key up here. And then I can go here, add point anywhere, and then edit pattern tool. And with the shift key, I can move this where it should be. Okay. And then I can add a few more. One here, one here. And move it. Add a few more. And move them. So we got number one, oh sorry, number four. And now what we can do here is that we can add number one, 418 I said, right? I don't remember, so let's do what 418. So I will take a rectangle, okay? And then create a rectangle with the same width that we have here for the number four. And then what we can do is that add points. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Then edit pattern, take this part, move it outside a bit. Move this here. Okay. I can move this slightly away from it. And then I can take my ellipse tool here, sorry, internal line ellipse tool here. When I can make a small one, okay. Then when I can make a, with shift and control inside, more smaller. And shift and outside a little bigger. You can move this in the center of 
the circle a bit up here okay and in the from the center shift control something like this done okay what I can do here is that I can select all these. Oops. I mis well, mistakenly moved it a little bit. Right click over here. Okay. And after the after this, uh, we can align it. Okay. Uh, center okay everything is aligned center okay so now we have this one thing we have to do here is that I can take my transform tool here and reduce the size of them I have to select these as well. Okay. And I'll put them in the center. Okay. Now, if I was simulated. So you can see, we have it this way here. But what I want them is to be a cut out garment, like a cloth and stitch to it. So what I will do here is that one by one, I'll, uh, I will select them or all of them all together. Okay. I'll right click here and instead of cut and sew, what I can do here is that I have here clone as pattern. What it will do is that as soon as I click on it, it will make another pattern, but not as a part of this cloth. It will be a bar, it will be a new pattern outside the selection, just like this. Got the idea? And where it is, it's here. You got it? But before uh, applying or stitching to the, like this area, what I can do here is that I can take this part, cut it. Okay, where is it? Where's the cut? Okay, yeah. It have to be internal part. So I have to convert this into an internal part. Okay. Uh, as an internal line. So otherwise it will not, it will uh, not work. So what I have to do is that I have to. So I will select and delete this on the both sides. Okay. And. I have to create internal line. Control and shift here and then the top control shift. Oops. Okay, so now what I will do is that I will right click here and then I will cut this part. Okay. Delete it. Right click, cut this part and delete it. So 
so we have our numbers over here now i can use my uh, free sewing tool and i can stitch it with the number that i have here on the shirt okay so i can move it out here and i will take the free sewing start from here go all the way the center here then go to the shirt okay now number one i'm using the free sewing tool normal free sewing tool Okay, here there will be an issue. Okay, so here I have to merge them. Okay, or first of all, I have to sew them. So, what I will do here is that I will take an internal, uh, like an internal line. Okay, from here. Oops. Internal internal line, this one, the straight line. Start from here, then shift and press here, enter. Right click here, cut and delete this part. Same thing I will do on the bottom one. Shift click here, enter, I click, cut. March. Okay. That's all. Now this kind of is different than this. So what I can do is that I can delete all this. Okay. Then select this one, all of it, right click over here and I will clone it. Okay. As an internal shape. And once I will do that, I will go here and paste it inside the shirt. So it will become the part of the shirt. Okay. And then I will take these inner ones. Same thing. Clone internal part or uh, as a uh, okay, close that uh, as pattern or and then cut it back okay and then i can go here and clone as internal shape and put them here done now i don't need these okay now i can easily sew them with free sewing tool ok 
Okay. Done. Now and we'll take these all. Move them kind of closer to each other so when they uh get uh sewed to them, they don't react uh, weirdly. So simulate. And here we go. There is a little bit issue here, I think. Let's undo this. And that is sewing. Delete the sewing for the number four. And let's do this again. Because I think there was some issue with number four. Okay. Let's do number four again. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, got it. So this will give a little bit depth to it. And also you can make the numbers a little bigger so there will be some wrinkles on it and those kind of things. Okay. So here, what we can do is that, okay, take this, put this here, or maybe somewhere here. So I hope you have learned something from this lesson and if you have uh, liked my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise I won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson then join my z interactive early bird membership plan once you are an active member you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends Membership Plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 